This story really gave me hope that maybe there is humanity in the world. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ryan and today on the channel I'm going to be talking about a drama family film called Ordinary Angels. This film is directed by John Gunn and he's done a lot of religious films. I haven't seen any of them. However, he was the writer for American Underdog and Jesus Revolution and I enjoyed both those films quite a bit. The film stars Hilary Swank, Alan Richson, Emily Mitchell, Skywalker Hughes, and Nancy Travis. The film is about a hairdresser named Sharon who rallies a community together to help a widowed father and his critically ill young daughter. So going into Ordinary Angels, I saw the trailer for this film last year in August when I went to go see the film The Hill. My mom saw it and she's like, I definitely want to see this film. It eventually got backed up because of all the writer strike and everything like that, but now it is finally here. One of the things that I was really just kind of dreading with this film is the fact that it is a faith-based film. And a lot of times these faith-based films, they're really preachy, over the top. They beat you over the head with religion. But I can happily say that this film, it doesn't beat you over the head with religion. It does mention God and stuff like that. But it's not trying to influence you of that. It's not trying to be preachy. It's just a true story that it's trying to tell. It has some drama with it. It has some family parts with it. And I think there is some parts in this film where you're definitely going to feel like you need to grab the tissues because there is some sad moments in here. Definitely emotional moments that are real and true to life. It's based on a book written by Sharon Stevens. Sharon Stevens is the hairdresser in here and she finds an article in the newspaper, sees that this young woman has passed away and she has a daughter who needs a liver transplant and she starts to rally the community together to raise money to help this family with the medical bills and she starts to come around and help out the family and she sees that they're in some really deep shit with their bills. You just see this family like kind of crumbling before your eyes this father he really is struggling he needs to find work and hillary swank's character in here she just has a lot of things that she's doing to help out this family however hillary swank's character in here her character arc is the fact that she is a hairdresser but at the same time she is an alcoholic she's very irresponsible and she also has a strained relationship with her son as well we also find out that she was married at a young age she has a problem actually admitting the fact that she has this alcoholic problem and she's not going to like aa meetings or actually recognizing that problem i did some fact checking for this film and i hate that they did this but she was never an alcoholic and she never had a strained relationship with her son whatsoever. So I hate that they actually put that drama into the film because it literally has nothing to do with the story. And I don't really think that this film needed that kind of dramatization because there is already enough drama with the family. There is other things in the movie like natural disasters. Like for instance, there's a tornado and it rips out a bunch of roofs. The father here who is a roofer himself and he starts helping repair the roofs and get the town back together. And then there's also a big snowstorm in this film which was one of the biggest snowstorms in history in Kentucky. So you already have that dramatization and a lot of other things going on, which you don't really need that whole alcoholism part. So I don't really know why they actually put that in the film. There were some conveniences in the film that really bugged me. For instance, the family owes a lot in medical bills. They owe $400,000 to be exact. And Hilary Swank goes to these CEOs and is like, hey, can you help them out with this medical bills and just help them you know, recover and everything like that? And they end up wiping the $400,000. I couldn't find anything if that was true or not, but I just don't think that would ever happen. It just seems a little bit too good to be true and way too convenient for that to actually happen in the film. And I also like the commentary towards health insurance and the fact that in America we have a really lame health system is just baffling to me. I don't understand why we can't get better care and shouldn't be charged an arm and a leg for every little thing. So I did like that commentary of the film. There's another part too where the father has to go in a snowy snowstorm. There's a part where they're stuck in the road and conveniently there is a payphone there for him to call because this is back in the early 90s so there's no cell phones or anything like that. And I was thinking to myself, why the snowstorm's going on? Come on, like how are they even getting service? There's gotta be like some power lines down, trees down. I mean, it's the biggest blizzard ever. I just didn't really believe that and I definitely felt like they 
over dramatized that part of the film. The film was shot well. I thought the dialogue was pretty good. It didn't get too cheesy. There were parts where it had enough emotion to it. It didn't get over really preachy, which was great. And I think overall, this is a film where by the end, I kind of was scratching my head a little bit because I was thinking to myself with some of the other things in the film that happened, I was like, did this really happen? So I went and I fact checked a lot of the other stuff that really happened in the film and all of that really happened. So you're probably saying, well, why did you have to fact check this to actually kind of give it a score? Well, I think the problem is a lot of times with these Christian kind of films, they are really cheesy and a lot of the stuff that happens in them, it's really hard to believe that some of that stuff actually happened. But when I actually went to go check if some of this stuff actually happened and it did, I was really blown away. It seemed very unbelievable to me. And I feel like this really restored humanity a little bit. Like one person that just read an article in a newspaper and all of a sudden starts to help a family and help out a little girl. I mean, that's unheard of. You just don't see that nowadays. And I have to really applaud this woman. I mean, the fact that she helped out this family, get them on their feet, get their bills straight. I mean, that's unbelievable. And some of the stuff in this film, I mean, it really has its heart in the right place. And I would say that if you really don't like Christian films, really preachy films, I think you can still really enjoy this film because I don't think religion is a big factor in this film. But I do think overall, this is a film that you can enjoy, you can have a good cry at certain points of the film. There's some comedy with it. It's inoffensive and a feel good film. And I feel by the end, you'll feel very warm and fuzzy inside. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about Ordinary Angels? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? And if you haven't checked it out, are you gonna check it out in a theater, on streaming, or are you just gonna skip it altogether? Leave any and all comments down below. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.